Hello and welcome everyone to another NASCAR Racing 2003 live stream. How are you all doing today? Everyone on Twitch and YouTube, everyone that may be watching this, wherever you are, how are you doing this fine but gloomy Hello and Wednesday afternoon? Welcome to another NASCAR Racing 2003 As you can live read by the title of today's stream slash today? video, I'm going everyone to be Twitch attempting YouTube. Everyone to recreate Jeff Gordon's 2012 Daytona flip. It is the second this part for this one. But if you haven't seen part one, go check that out. I should have the link in the description. As you can and the title if you haven't seen that one, uh, make sure to check that one out. Going to so you can see uh, his real life crash if you haven't seen that one yet. Because I have that in the beginning of that video, and I'm not going to bother playing out this one. Because I don't want to waste any time, I'm going to jump right in. I make sure to check that one out. Don't believe I have any people watching on Twitch right now. It's all right. I'm recording. This for YouTube to upload that as well. I have that this beginning of that video. If there is anyone watching on Twitch, please show your love in the comments. I don't if not, that's cool. I'm just gonna jump right in. So, like I said, if you haven't seen it, any people check that out. All right, I'm recording this for YouTube. So we got his 2012 24 AARP drive to end CO. Oh, yeah, drive to hunger. Not COPD. So that's a different car. Any of you go check that out. Right All right. So we got his 2012. So. 24, like we did in last stream, I have his roster, the roster, all the cars that were in that main pack, which were about 13, including COPD, or not including Jeff Gordon. I'm using different Daytona SDT night. I have the settings adjusted so the grip is turned up and everything else, and the Track temperature is down, down, turned down a little bit so they can get up to speed faster. All the cars that were in that on the first lap, by the time we get around to turn four. All right, let's jump right in. So I have the settings adjusted so the grip is turned up. We need to have, we're going to restart this qualifying simulation because I need, by the time we get around to turn four. All right, my microphone is jump right in. I so need uh, Jeff Gordon settings adjusted to be right behind Kyle Bush. To so I need Kyle Bush to qualify in the second, and then Tony Stewart uh, qualifying simulation. I apologize for my voice and my congestion. My I am very sick. Need, uh, Jeff Gordon. Not very sick. I just have a cold. To be right behind Kyle Bush. The symptoms have been really coming on strong the last day or so. Then Tony Stewart, uh, qualifying simulation. I apologize for my voice. Perfect. My there we go. I am so I'm going to have uh, myself drafted behind uh, Kyle Bush, who will be in second place. Oh, stuff he knows. And then I'm going to try to spin him out and have Johnson come up into me. Hopefully turn me into the... Behind. Uh, Kyle Wall Bush and send me over. Second place. Hopefully, I get uh, enough luck to where I'm sliding on my roof for a little bit. I'm going to try to spin him out and have Johnson Why come did up I? Yep. I apologize for that delay. That must have been really annoying for those first couple of minutes. I totally forgot to mute the Twitch page on my computer. I apologize for that. I'm still working out the glitches with all these Twitch streams. The transition from YouTube over to Twitch isn't quite as seamless as I would have liked to think, but I'm getting there. As you can see, I got the preview right here, so I can be monitoring the stream in case anything does go wrong. Alright, so I need to let Tony go, keep Johnson behind me. Shoot. God damn it. What the hell happened? I misshifted, I know that much. I think I caused a wreck from my terrible shifting. Oh, nope, they just wrecked each other. Did I cause that? Oh, we have Clint Boyer upside down. That didn't take long. What a familiar sight. Clint Boyer crossing the start-finish line at Daytona on his side or upside down. Where have we seen that before? 
That's probably the quickest rollover in a NASCAR race to date. Come on, guys. Comment. I need the stupid welcome to Drivers, Cody H Gaming's chat message to go away on the little stream chat inlay and the video. Alright, we're going to try that again. I'm not going to mess up the shifts this time. It's almost maybe better to have the qualifying session be uh, Tony Stewart in first and Johnson in second like it was before. So then Kyle Busch could have just been on the outside line, and, or the inside line, excuse me, in third right behind Stewart. That would have made more sense. I apologize for doing this stream on Twitch. You gotta be kidding me. Pace cars in. Without any warning, I just felt like doing this one, and I'm gonna see how much response I get to just posting it on YouTube, just like a regular video without too much warning in advance for the Twitchers. God, I need to clean my keyboard and my wheel. My wheel's already dirty. Alright, so this will be the time I don't mess up the pace lap. Let's hope uh, no one rolls over in the first 50 feet of the race this time. You gotta be kidding me! I downshifted to second, I still going too fast. Jesus Christ, I cannot I cannot do this properly, can I? I like in car view, I don't care what you guys say. I tried saving that one, but I was already too far gone. chair. I can't handle this chair for much longer. Right back to third person. Alright, I'm not gonna screw it up this time. Alright, there we go. Oh, oh, oh. Sub Johnson's gone, so that part of the reenactment won't be perfect. Well, we'll still try to salvage it anyway. We need to spin. Kyle, I need to get a good drafting line on him. Maybe I need to turn the AI difficulty down a little bit. No, nope, I got a good line. Or I got a good run. Alright. Oops. Nope. Whoa. I don't know what settings of this track that just did that, but I need to do that for, uh... You alright? Pit road is closed. There's an accident entering the tri-oval. Got one stop. Don't oh, right. I Looks think like I know what's going on. on. Yep. I believe I uh, changed over the track settings at one point when I was experimenting with uh, doing the Austin Dillon crash reenactment because I think I turned the either the track chassis grip or track tire grip <coughs> in the I and I file, excuse me, up, and that's what happens, which is exactly what I need when I'm trying to recreate the Austin Dillon crash, but I don't necessarily need that right now. Joel Miles, how's it going? I just discovered, I believe, I am using the track. I was inadvertently experimenting with doing the Austin Dillon crash with, as you can tell by that setting right there. So I'm going to exit out of the game quickly and change that back, because that's going to mess up this reenactment. 
So excuse me while I go into the INI file quickly. I'm going to pull it up for you guys. Window cap. Alright, so here we are in the track folder. Put on the tracks, Daytona SDT. Let's see what I all put in manually here. Track chassis grip, yep. Let's get rid of that. That, though, is the key, I believe, to the Austin Dillon reenactment, that cha track chassis grip, because that is what caused uh, Denny Hamlin, Hamlin to launch up and over my car when the tires touched. So I'm going to keep that for later. Armco grip, do 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 do. All right, these are all for them. Before, all right, those I can leave. Everything else I can leave. Track. Chassis grip. Hmm. So I did already have that. I'm just seeing what I'll need to keep and leave. Track asphalt. I think these these need to go up just a little bit. Try seven five and seven two. Save. Do, do, do. Switch you guys back over to the game. Yeah, the key is to not mess with the track file too much. If you turn the grip up too much, I believe, is when the cars start bouncing. I'm not quite sure, but I believe that's what causes that. Alright, perfect. Whoops. Accidentally hit the weight screen again. I didn't mean to do that. Alright, let's see who all qualified where for this one. Bush, Johnson, alright. Same as last time. Let's go. Drivers, start your engines! Yes, drivers. Indeed, to start those engines. Oh, we're missing the chat. So it does do the same thing for the Twitch chat as the YouTube chat. back. Can I bring it back? There we go. Alright, so if there's any new people following my channel on Twitch or YouTube, I don't want to say YouTube. this I will be uploaded to YouTube once I'm done streaming it here live on Twitch. So if you didn't see the whole thing on Twitch, in addition to watching it on Twitch, once it's done streaming, you can check it out on YouTube as well. Alright, perfect. Johnson, stay there, but don't wreck. And it looks like they're going to wreck. Yep, they just wrecked. Alright, well, I guess we're going to try again. Even though there's no pack, it's just a bunch of spaced out cars, so this is kind of a lost cause attempt, but we'll see what the settings are looking like in terms of the grip and whatnot. So we need to catch up to Kyle. Spin him. Oh. It's got clobbered by Jimmy. Z Johnson, how is it going? I have a few failed attempts so far. Not getting anything close. That time was a lost cause because there was a crash at the start of the race. Alright. I just need to tweak the settings for 100% before I can do the Austin Dillon crash. I think at this point I just need to change the opponent manager around so I can get all the people to where they were in real life. I'm not going to be too picky with all the people like from 5th on backwards, but I want like uh, Gordon and Harvick and 
Hamlin and uh, Johnson, Earnhardt Jr., obviously, to be the ones all up front. All right, hopefully they don't wreck on the start this time. They might actually have a decent attempt. I just need to kind of squeeze between Stewart and Johnson and let uh, Bush get in front of me as well. What are you doing, Johnson? Johnson sticking his nose where it shouldn't be. Oops. Talk about sticking your nose where it shouldn't be. I almost just wrecked Stewart. Go away, Clint. You're not wanted here. Alright, so except for Clint Boyer being right there, we kind of got the setup for the AI cars right for the most part. Don't do it, Clint. Oh, damn it. I think I might need to turn the grip up just ever so slightly more. God damn it, Clint. This is why we can't have nice things. What is Kurt doing in the 51? He was in the 51 for a short time back then, I believe. At least for the shootouts. Because I actually did my research for all the cars that were in the pack this time around. And I believe he was in the 51. I can check the replay again to be sure, but... I individually picked out each one of these cars with the driver because... Those were the ones in the pack, with all the right sponsors and everything. If someone else wants to confirm that for me, I'm going to keep doing the stream. Oh god, I keep feeling like I have to sneeze. Luckily I haven't felt, like, nauseous or really achy or anything like that. It's just regular old cold symptoms. Like really stuffy nose, really dry throat, cough sneezing all that jazz so if that's the worst this gets I'll be fine with that as long as there's no thrown up like there was last time I got sick like a few weeks ago and they wrecked what the hell is going on I think I have their bunching distance up too high or something like that their drafting distance and they are not cooperating. I think I might need to have Kyle Bush start in the bottom line. God damn it, Clint. Alright, looks like I'm gonna need to adjust some settings. Because they can't stop wrecking at the start finish line. Just starting to piss me off. Alright, back to the track. INI file. Alright, so what the hell is going on here? Let's see. Bunching distance, turn that up. Drafting distance, yeah, I think I turned this all down at one point. Alright, let's see if that does anything. That's right, we need to turn the grip up a little bit. Nine. Eight, sure. Save. Alright, loading the game back up. Maybe there is some sort of jinx. I don't know. Maybe it'll be a good omen. Maybe I can get it this time. Alright. Let's hope I can go across the start finish line for the start of this race without wrecking each other.
And they're in the same qualifying order as last time. Maybe I need to turn the tr difficulty down just a tad. Kurt Busch did drive the 51, alright, so I wasn't going crazy. I knew it wasn't for very long. Whoa, 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 slow down. But yeah, he did drive the 51 for a short while. Trying to like squeeze in before. Alright, no wreck yet. I just need to keep Johnson up there and let Bush get down in front of me. Come on, Kyle. Cooperate. There we go. Alright, so. I need to spin Kyle. I don't care if he goes all the way around. For the sake of this reenactment, that's just gonna how it happened. Alright. Oh. Damn it. No flip. No flip. Oops, sorry for that pause, guys. Ambrose almost got over there. Kind of did a little two-wheel stand after Boyer hit him right there. All right. Maybe we can have some luck Driver. next time. It was almost every person involved in that wreck in the field. Right, I'm going to squeeze in between Johnson and Stewart in the pace lap. Or at least try to without getting turned by Johnson. Like that. God fucking green damn it. Green flag. Green, green, green. Oh man, they're showing us a black flag. Looks like you passed under the yellow. They're gonna make us do a stop and go. <sighs> Drivers, start your That's exactly what I was worried about. Trying to squeeze in front of Johnson in the pace lap. Was having that happen. So we are 16, 17 streams away from the 100th, and you guys will get to see what I have planned for the 100th live stream re slash reenactment series. Yes, I know not all of my live streams were these reenactment videos, but at this point a good majority of them were. I was doing that NFL series until I kind of gave up about halfway through the season, like, like the Packers did. There we go. Perfect. No one's wrecked yet. Perfect. I just need to have a perfect wreck. I'm going roof cam for the part where I spin. Bush. Except I did not want him to take first place. That's not part of the reenactment. Hey. 
Gordon temporarily got upside down, but it was more Ambrose than anyone. Ambrose stole my thunder. Can I make another reenactment compilation? I am. I'm in the process. Once I have 20 reenactments, I have about 5 since my last one. Once I have about 20, I will compile all of them into a reenactment compilation number 2. So I need about 15 solid finished reenactment videos to go. A few are in the works, but I'm still, I still have a long way to go before the next one comes out. Ironically, Johnson was the only one that made it through that time, aside from Boyer. And a couple others with minor damage. Yeah, Ambrose stole my thunder. That was an interesting way for him to roll over, too. Next. Alright, so at least I got on my side slash upside down that time. I just need everyone else to cooperate. <laughs> Gotta say though, as long as you guys keep giving me super difficult suggestions for these reenactments, a compilation of finished ones ain't coming any sooner. I need single car spins and people bumping into the wall and stuff like that. Those are easy to reenact. But they're not fun to watch. Or as entertaining, I should say. Come on, Bush. Do it. Boyer. Oh, you just saying you can just swoop down and steal my third position, don't you? You got another thing coming when I bump you out of the way. They aren't going to be perfectly lined up this time either, but still trying. Alright, so he gets into... Oh, darn it. I thought that was going to be it. I, th I believe Kyle Busch did save it. I don't know, let's see. John Krebs, is that the one where the two cars went, like, flying over the banking and one, like, end over ended a couple times? It's funny you should mention that one. I was trying to... I was experimenting with a different... Uh, a bunch of different versions of Infineon slash Sears Point. And back then, when that crash happened, I believe they uh, did a part of the track that they don't run anymore. They were in that part, so I need to find an extended part of Sears Point. And I was having trouble finding the cars. Yeah, it's another one of those situations where if you can find the cars, I will do the reenactment. Yeah, look at that. Kyle Busch did actually save it. So that would have been perfect, that aspect. He had just sideways for me getting into him, but he saves it and keeps going. So that would have been good if only Johnson got into me and sent me over. Yeah, funny you should mention that one. I was, like, a few weeks back experimenting with what I'd all need cars and track-wise to be able to try that one. And, I, yeah, I wasn't able to find the cars either. I was able to find a couple uh, versions of Sears Point from the late 90s, early 2000s, where they had the extended version. Or, because, yeah, or the bootleg or something. Kind of like how they have the dog leg at Watkins Glen that they don't run anymore. Or that they uh, don't run in NASCAR. They have a similar thing at uh, Sears Point that they don't run anymore, but they used to. And I believe for that wreck, they were in a part of the track that they don't run on the NASCAR circuit anymore. Get ready now. Going green. Weebly. 
Track wise, I think I have the tracks. I need the cars. I believe I have a couple tracks that would work out for the area they were in. I need cars. Those are what I was unable to find. If you can find those, you'd be a lifesaver. God damn it. Well, they're not going to make it back to the start finish line. Because I'm going to take them out. I need to undo the pace car some frustration. You've been disqualified for reckless driving. Yeah, shush. The pace car in turn two. Watch that speed now. Keep it on 3500. No, I think I'm good where I'm at. On the back straight. Limit 55. Keep it under 3500. Oh, I pulled a Austin Dillon there. I just hovered over everyone. Yeah, if you can find the two cars that were involved in that wreck, somehow the car file, for whichever mod, I'm not picky about the mod, whichever mod would work for it. I'm assuming either the Cup or the Cup 2000 is one of those two. Yeah, if you can find the two cars that were involved in that wreck, I would love to try that one. Because I believe I have a track that would work. Oh, no one was even involved in that. Except for Johnson, Edwards. Yeah, that's it. Oh, and Truex a little bit at the end. That was boring. Drivers, start your engines. Next attempt. Oh, my back. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it a full hour for this one. My first stream I did with this particular wreck, part one, was only like 20 odd minutes or so, so I'm already longer than I was last time. But guys, I, don't, I can't do a full hour anymore until I get a new chair. I got a new mattress pad and comforter that helps for sleeping for my back a little bit, but this hunk of crap metal plastic piece of junk that I'm sitting on right now is not doing my back any favors. It is very uncomfortable even with these pillows I got underneath me to sit on for an hour straight. At least in the racing position when I've ever I'm uh, editing I can at least like be like a little kid and put my foot up under my butt to kind of sit on that. Yeah in the racing position where it's basically my tailbone right down flat on the uncomfortable part of the chair. On my already sore lower back, yeah, it's, it's not a good combo. Look at me, I sound like an old man. Alright. Bush, come down. There you go. But you're not gonna pass Stewart. That's one thing you can't do. Alright, there you go. It doesn't look like he has momentum to pass Stewart. There you go. Alright. So I need to get into Bush. Like that. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Oh, I thought he was going to get up on his side right there. It looked like he was about to start. That was going to be perfect, aside from Bush being involved. Oh, damn it. That looked promising for a second. Do I not have the grip up high enough? Or did I just not get hit, hit at the right angle? All right, so right there, right about here. Yeah, like right there, I thought I was going to get hit, sent on my side. Because, yeah, the way Johnson kind of came up and hit me was perfect, too. Like, this whole part of the wreck right there, minus Bush being involved. Yeah, I thought for sure if I got up on my side right there, I was going to have a chance. Like, sliding down the banking. Ah, uh, darn it. We're getting closer. Still nowhere near perfect, but we are getting closer. The 94 ones, yeah, not, I was thinking 99 for some reason, but yeah, that's right, it was 94. So yeah, I was using the Cup mod. If you can find the two cars that were involved in that wreck for the, yeah, the Cup 90 mod, I would love to try it. Because I have the tracks, I believe. None of them are perfect, because I don't think anyone, any track has a quite accurate infield when it comes to all those bankings on the road course. You know how it is with the bankings in this game, especially older tracks, it's kind of just more... It's not too detailed, it's kind of just a little rough mound, but... 
If you can find the cars, I'm sure I could make the reenactment work somehow. If I can make the Ken Schrader and uh, Steve Park flip in the same race at Infineon, given that the banking slash fence wasn't nearly accurate to what it was in real life in the game version, if I can make that work, I think I can make this one work. I'm just rambling about hopeful I am about potentially lost causes. Alright, so, again, I'm gonna not try to draft Kyle Busch going on the backstretch, but still stay in front of everyone else just because I don't want him passing Stewart. Alright, sweetie doesn't have the momentum to pass Stewart, so everyone's still in the right spot. We need to come down here, get in a bush like that. Oh, darn it. Bush kind of held up everyone, otherwise they could have, the pack could have hit me. Hey, Greg Biffle upside down. That's something you've never heard before. Scooby gang. When am I going to do Austin Dillon wreck? It's funny you should mention that. Got to go, Joel. Thanks for watching. You're the contributor of 90% of the comments. Got to fill up at least we got rid of the little intro thing at the top. Because you guys posted enough. Thanks for joining. Yeah, it's funny you should mention the Austin Dillon wreck. I don't, I need to finalize the opponent manager of the roster for that wreck to, so I can have everyone in the right order in the pack. Get the settings for the track tweaked a little bit more, but it's coming soon. I'd say maybe two weeks or so max before I do my first attempt at it. Because that one I imagine is going to be a three-parter minimum. If the Rusty Wallace wreck took three attempts, this one's going to be, yeah, three minimum. The Austin Dillon one, that is. This one's looking like it's going to be three minimum, too, because we're on part two. We got 20 minutes to go before it's going to be a full hour, and I said I didn't think my back's going to be able to last a full hour. Why does Boyer keep creeping up? Should you be spinning out on purpose at Richmond, ruining the chase? The already ruined chase. Alright, I'm actually gonna get side by side to Bush right here so he can't pass Stewart. Even if he wants to. There we go. Oops. Oh, I ruined my opportunity that time. Let's hope everyone's still in the same order next lap around. Oh. See that crossover move I pulled on Jimmy? Oh, 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 oh. See if I can try this time. I might be able to catch Bush in time on this turn. Oh yeah. Hopefully. God damn it, nope. Oh Jeff Gordon almost has first blow over. God damn it. Next attempt. Drivers, start your engines. Oh my god, my back. I'm probably going to get going in like five, ten minutes or so, guys. Come up just short of an hour. Looks like that I. My tailbone down on this hard plastic chair is not doing wonders for my already sore back. So I'm probably going to have this be the third to last attempt for this one. Oh, 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 
The Austin Dillon wreck is coming. Or er, reenactment attempts. It is coming. Just have to finish all the final details and settings. Let's make sure everything's so I have a chance of getting it. I believe it's gonna be this track I'll use. A 2015 car set, obviously. Keep it together. Jimmy, get behind me. that one up. So I got off the gas right there. Alright, hopefully this lap will work out. Stewart needs to stay out front. That's the biggest key. Or well, one of the big keys, at least. Not the biggest, I should say. The biggest is obviously the flip. Those are all the minor minor details, but I still want all those to be right. I think I might need to turn the difficulty down just a tad. Alright, so... Continuing right there. Oh. Damn it. Ah, damn it. How's that for a rollover? Let's take a look at that one from the replay. I got into him. Thought Johnson hit me right there and maybe send me back up the track into some traffic. But nope. Drivers, start your engines. Oh, I was hoping my back would crack right there. But it didn't. Alright. So I got with the Rusty Wallace one that I could get it on the first try of a video. Now I need to get in a reenactment where I get it on the very last try. This one was the second to last one. Yeah, shut up, RPMs. Sneak in front of these guys. Oh, oh. 
Ah, oh, damn it. Damn it, I was trying to turn right, so I would have started tumbling. The way Biffle kind of had me propped up, I was almost going to start the start of the flip the right way. Right there. Oh, I was trying to turn right, so I would start sliding on my side and tumbling. That would have been the closest yet, but obviously wouldn't have been perfect. All right. Last try. Last try for this video. Let's see if the last time is the charm. That doesn't count. Need to get them back before they hit the start finish line. You've been disqualified for reckless driving. Nah. That was interesting. Man, who got sandwiched in that deal? Who was... Who was the car leading? Tony Stewart. Just... Let's see a side view of that. Look at that. At one point, he was completely fused in with my car. The next dream, he's fused in with... Kyle Bush. Alright, so that doesn't count as the last attempt, obviously. Drivers, start Ooh. Your ah, my back. Yes, I know I'm gonna keep complaining about that until it gets fixed. Until I get a new back, I'm gonna keep complaining about mine. So let's not cause a wreck on the front stretch this time. Right after the green flag. Let's wait till we come back around coming out turn four. Then we can cause a wreck. Oh. I'm gonna go blow the hell out of my nose after the stream's done. Stay right there, Clint. There we go. I'm going down here on purpose so Kyle Busch doesn't have enough momentum from my drafting to be able to pass Tony. Which he almost just did right there. Come on. Nope. And once again, I fail. I got Truex upside down. Or not Truex, McMurray. Why do I keep saying Truex? Inside 
bad. You all right? Let's see the ride McMurray just took. Oh, he got turned on the banking after he got hit by Logano, I believe it was. And just kept tumbling. Yep. Well, he stole my thunder. Jesus, did he beat Maynard Troyer's 18 flips right there? Let's count and see. Speaking of Maynard Troyer, that's kind of minus getting T-bone. That was a similar way to start flipping. Kind of hitting the banking right there. Just barrel rolling a crap load of times at Daytona. All right, let's count the barrel rolls for McMurray. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-seven and a quarter. I'm surprised I was able to keep track of the counting. I was counting a new number every time a full rotation went around and the wheels were pointing down again. Alright, so, I didn't get the reenactment, but Jamie Mack rolled over 27 and a quarter times. Hope that made the stream worth it. Alright, thank you guys, everyone, so much for watching. Uh, Twitchers, YouTubers, all the support. I can't uh, thank you guys enough how much I appreciate it. Please hit the like button. Hit subscribe if you haven't already, if you just stumbled upon these videos, if you're a first-time watcher. Uh, welcome to the community. Uh, thank you for joining. Uh, that's about it for this one. Thanks again for everything, guys. Have a good rest of your day. I will see you later. Peace.